Welcome back to WWE 2K23, My Rise, The Legacy. I am your host, Attack Slug, and yes, waiting on my new lighting at some point, but the show must go on, and I must attain the Queen's crown here in this Queen of the Ring business, Tavish. Um, in the finals, who is my opponent? Now that was a proper victory. <laughs> Selena wasn't ready for what you were bringing. Maybe next time she'll spend more time training and less time running her mouth. It did feel really good to knock her out of the picture. Don't lose focus. Still got one more match oh. and Bianca Belair standing between you and Queen's Crown Glory. The EST. I'll stay focused. You're right. I've got to remain focused. And at least right now, I know that I can turn all my attention towards Bianca and stop worrying about Zelina and Beth. I would like to hope so, maybe. Take care of Bianca. And no matter what anyone says, you'll head home as royally. I mean, not in an official sense, but you do get to keep the crown. I think. I'll ask. But I still wouldn't count on Zelina and Beth to put all the mucking about behind them, though. You might want to keep an eye out for any tomfoolery. Shenanigans are encouraged. Head, swivel, got it. And so, we look to put a crown on a crown in the finals against the roughest, toughest, strongest, fastest EST of the WWE. So, Peach, make your way. And then Bianca is making her way to the ring. This one should be a barn burner, if you will in the finals for this Queen's Crown tournament in the NXT UK arena. So Bianca is my last stumbling block to get that victory and get my second crown from princess to queen. Here we go. What you gonna do when Princess Peach runs wild on you? There is no escape from what I'm about to do here in this tournament. Run roughshod, if at all possible. And could it be a tap out? Could it be a pinball? Whatever it is, it's gonna be a victory for Princess Peach. Northern Lights, suplex. And combo time on Bianca. That's what we got here, woo! Drop kick, doing it, and doing it well. I would hope so, I would hope so, doing it well. Pick her up, and then pinfall on the bridge and fall away, slam, a one count. And here is the distraction from Queen Zelina. From behind, with a chair, perhaps? Referee? No. Just the music. Just the musical distraction, and no, we don't want the KOD. We reversed it. Thank God. Thank God. You would think reversing her finisher would give me more of a bit of my meter, but no. Because the older games, when you reverse the finisher, you got a bunch of meter for your own finisher. Like, that was kind of how that, I think, if memory serves me correctly, how it used to work. But we still got a good chunk of business as Bianca rolls the outside, and Peach now maybe gonna fly, maybe not gonna fly. We'll think better of it here, and just grab, and then hit. Oh, come on, I hit the grab there on Bianca. Well, in any event, she has no sig, but a spear in the corner. Regardless, and nah, that is not happening. Low drop kick, baby. We're taking this win and making it a crown on a crown, a hat on a hat. Fancy time, fancy pants. Here we go. No pinfall. I want my moves to mean something. So the goal here is to do some combos. And just about get there. Perhaps a peach ball is going to be in Bianca's future. So maybe a double from the top. A, don't, don't go nowhere, Bianca. We're just about where we need to be. So don't go nowhere, Miss EST. Uh, making it hard for me. As she does, as she should. But nah. How about this? And how about this? Woo! And she, all right. Don't no sell out, Bianca. Come on now. You're halfway to being stunned. Get a brain buster, get your brain busted, and she reversed it. Because of course she did. Why wouldn't she chop block to Peach? I don't appreciate that, Bianca. I'm just trying, trying with low stamina 
to put you down and this is not working. I wanted the peach ball and it's not quite getting to where I, yes. All right, no, I get it. The strength, the power, the slam. And now she is at her signature. I don't want that. I don't want it. The moonsault, don't want it. Please no, please no. Possum pin, possum pin, snuck ya. One and a one count. Well, look, Bianca, look, Bianca. This is what it needs to be. And it is, oh, come on. If I can't even get what I need to get here, woo! If I can't even get what I need to get here, like, I can't even get enough, and that's not what I want. And that finish, just stay down. Just stay down. I have no stamina, but just stay down. And she reversed the DDT. Because of course she did, why wouldn't she? And again. Because of course she did, why wouldn't she? That is why she is the EST, after all. And now her own fall away slam. Catch as catch can and a pinfall. Are you serious? In the tournament finals, at this juncture, you haven't earned it, Bianca. You haven't earned it. Get, wow, okay. It is a hotly contested matchup here. Drop kick. Apps, bro. Bro. And here we are, woo! Drop the elbow. Absolutely devastating to Bianca. Get back in the ring, I can't beat you out of here. I can't. So get back in the ring, and therefore, we will go for, like I said, the Peach Ball. So get on up, Bianca Belair, Peach Ball! Right? And then, back up, back up. It could be big. Finisher. Roll her over. Stomp. I've got a second if she would like a second one. Or the Oscar lock. Two. And the two. Okay, Bianca Belair. But I'm going to get you right up. And put you right into the Oscar lock. And she blocked the Oscar lock. Because of course she did. And now she has the KOD. And also just the press. And I missed the, there's the, yep, yep, there's that, there's that. And I don't have resiliency, but I blocked the KOD. So I'll take what I can get any day of, wow. Coronation begins for the winner of the Queen's Crown Tournament. And Bianca Belair looks on wondering what might have been. For most Royals, the bloodline is most important, and apparently, WWE is no different. Oh, come on, Saxton. She earned it in the ring. And what queen has ever taken the throne without a little drama? Well, whether her hands are clean might be up for debate, but no one can deny at the end of the day, she's the one wearing the crown. So what's funny is the crown I'm using in my entrance now does not work with this hairstyle. But in the cutscene, that crown works with that hairstyle. Come on, man. Okay. Bow down to Princess Peach. That's my girl. All right. Beth Phoenix says congrats. Trish Stratus says congrats. Charlotte says she's the only queen. Have your costume, though. Wendy from NXT says she watched it on the replay. And McIntyre loves seeing superstars so do so brilliantly on his own home turf. Now then, Tavish, what do you got? Congratulations, your majesty. <laughs> You'll forgive me if I don't bow at my age. If I go down, I might never get back up. I understand the feeling. As long as you're doing it in spirit. <laughs> Quite right. So how does it feel? Always feels good to win. I was made to wear the crown. Like the crown was made to sit on my head. I knew I deserved to win, but I'm glad that now everyone has to agree. I'm a little surprised Lena didn't try anything more. I guess she was as scared to cross me as she is annoying. I agree. I expected more from Selena, some kind of tomfoolery. Oh, speaking of, there was a small incident in the lockers during your match. 
Don't look like anything's been nicked, but someone silly stringed everyone's bags. Huh. Dumb prank, but guess it's someone's idea of a good time. I mean, at least it's not poop like in the old days. Weird. Are you heading straight back to the States, or are you gonna hang around a bit? I know some folks at my local would love to shake hands with a queen. Or at least I queen. I've gotta get back. Maybe next time? I'll hold you to it, love. Have a nice flight. Have a nice day. Question for the queen. Heard someone got silly in the locker room. Hope nothing went missing in the stringing. Hey, you have your passport, right, your highness? Be ashamed you couldn't get home. That's literally illegal, but okay. Like, this is low, even for you. Wonder what the brass will think about this. But, oh, it was Beth Spartan. It wasn't Delina. It was Beth doing the dirty work, getting some revenge. And now it'll be no DQ with Beth Spartan. Sure. Which means interference from Zelina. Sure. If you are both going to attack me, just book a handicap match. Like, it's not that complicated. Just be upfront about it. Be real about it. And here we are back in this grimy, uh, underground arena and whatever. But no disqualifications with Beth Spartan. And that should be quite the, I would hope, easy, breezy, beautiful bit of business here. And I don't know, whose kid is that in the front row? Anyhow, let's go. I am none too concerned with this job girl. At least it's not British rules here in the UK. So I gotta say, at least it's not that. So we'll take you down, arm wrench town, roll through, bring it back, because I will immediately get a move in or two and then bail, because it is no DQ. And I will get myself a kendo stick here and Beth Spartan. Would you like to join me here on the outside or not? Because I know that Zelina here is lurking somewhere and I needed to have an equalizer. Deal with that. It's what you get. You wanted no DQ, Spartan. You wanted it, and this is what you get. This is what you deserve. So head into the immediate yellow, and nah, and nah. All right, you got one. I'll give you one, but, oh, come on. I hit a move on you. I did. Clo, clo, you broke it. You broke it. Clothesline the, the poor girl. Like, what is happening here? Nah. This is going to be a brutal fight on the outside with Peach and Spartan. Absolutely ridiculous fight on the outside because I want to encourage the punishment of this job girl. So another kendo stick. Yeah, get up. See what happens, Spartan. See what happens. Brutalized with these sticks. You got nothing. You've got nothing, Spartan. Zero. But, and again. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. But still, I got way more than you did. So, nope. Nope. Nah. Guess what? Mine now, the grapple, it worked fantastically. And we will get Sig, and we will win the match with your head already in the red. So, oh, there it goes. All right, sure, fine. It's busted now. It's busted, which means your head in the red, and me, and you taunt him like an idiot, and me, don't taunt like an idiot. It's time for this deal here. Float you over. And here comes Zelina Vega. It's still no DQ. Can I get it in quickly? Can I get it in quickly? Oscar Locke, Zelina, you're, you're too late. You're too late. She's gonna tap out to me. It's gonna be it, it's gonna be over. You got no choice. Ah, oh, that's not enough. I thought, I thought I would like to have hoped I could get it to work here, but it's not enough. Head in the red though, like head in the red, pinfall, and there's Zelina doing her business. Zelina Vega, I just beat you. Pin, Beth, she's so beat up, one and a one count. Zelina has finished there and she didn't use it. And guess what, she ain't going to use it. DDT. Best Spartan. Oh, I tried to face her. I tried to face her. Now it's just a two on one scenario and it's not going to go well for your girl here. It's just not going to be. Referee just looking the other way. Just saying, I didn't see any of this. I didn't see any of this. Not hardly. 
Not a little bit. Nope, reversed it. Whee! Again, DDT. Will Selena break it up? One, two, and she did. So here's where it does finally finish. Finally get tricky with these two. Now if she'll leave, I'll get pinned, perhaps, as I'm stunned, and Beth Spartan here taking advantage of my getting hit with a finisher from Queen Zelina, who did her business, and nah. I ain't stunned no more. That's easy. All too easy, Beth Spartan. And your head is just in the red. Your body is in the yellow, and I'm almost at my SIG again. And it don't matter, because I beat you. Passport to Misadventure story complete, which brings us to Bailey, Tom, Robin Ray. None of those are important, just Bailey. Let's check on, before that, let's check on the social media. And otherwise, I think we've accomplished all of the various side quests and misadventures. We did that one, we did that one, and yeah, we're good. So clear all of our notifications in that, and our feed in that, and we're good. I do believe that's it for today. One more for the week tomorrow, and talking to Ding Dong, hello. Miss Bailey, so look forward to that. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching our videos right here. I'll see you next time, and I'm out.